So we're watching A Tale of Momentum and Inertia, which is a short film that we are going to summarize. Okay, so let's start summarizing. We go to Google Suite. Click on Google Suite. Then we go to New, Google Docs. And when we do that, um, we get a new sheet. I've already started filling in my lesson. So we always save it with the lesson number. And if you want, you can add a little bit of a description. Your name, my name, class name, date. Skip a line in the middle, lesson number in the summary. Always start with an indent on your summary paragraphs, or any paragraph for that matter. So with the short film called A Tale of Momentum and Inertia, so we have the title by Cameron Gates, we have the author on YouTube where it was found, is about how easy it is to misunderstand a situation, especially if you're too quick to judge, and the main idea. The story begins with a, so the story begins, we have a transition um, phrase, with a gigantic rock monster moving rocks around at the top of the mountain. So we have the who, we have the doing what, and we have the where. Accidentally, another transition word, the rocky main character, so we've, instead of saying gigantic rock monster repeatedly, I change it to the rocky main character, drops a boulder, a boulder is a rock, off a cliff, which then hurdles, hurdles is a formal word for moves, towards an innocent looking village 1,000 meters below. In order to save the inhabitants, our giant does everything he can to stop the rock from destroying the village. However, there's a transition word which means but, when the occupants, there's another way to say people, see an enormous monster, another word for gigantic rock monster, at their gates at the front, they misjudge their hero for a villain, a bad guy, and attack with cannon and arrows. The monster decides that the people aren't worth saving and lets the clump of rock crush the village. The lesson seems to me that you should calmly assess a situation before taking action. That's the main idea. So a couple things to go over. Um, make sure you're very clear in your summary to anyone who reads this that has not seen or read the material, what it's about. Only the main points can be included. No specific details or dates unless absolutely necessary. So I could have written five, ten paragraphs about this video, but you have to leave out all those little details um, because you want to be brief and not wordy. You don't want it to be long. You want it to be short but have um, all the main points. That's called being concise. So it starts off with the topic sentence with the title, the author, and the main idea. Then some supporting sentences which follow in the same order as the original. Make sure to paraphrase. Paraphrase means you cannot quote or copy and paste. Paraphrase is writing in your own words and only your own words. Not Also, do not include your opinion because this is supposed to only write about the video, okay? Um, so once you're done that, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to Download, Microsoft uh, Word Doc, and then you're going to go to um, your Assignments. So you click on that, you'll come to page that looks like this. You'll select the lesson. Let's just say it's lesson two for, for now. 
you add a file, you go to My Computer, and you can drag and drop it if you see it here, or you can go to Upload, and you can find it on your computer, Open, and then Add, and then Submit. And you've done it. I hope that helps. If you'd like to see any uh, any more videos, I'd be happy to, to make some more for you. Just let me know what you uh, need. Have a great day. Bye.